Hello, my name is Fuey, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the DD Pro on AMS2. All right, so the first thing you want to do um, before you boot up the game is to open up the documents where your game is saved. And that should be standard when you download this game outside of Steam. So I'm going to go ahead and go to documents and select AMS2. Click on saved game. Click on the set of numbers here, then AMS2 again, and then double click profiles. And what we want to delete is the controller settings. So essentially what we want to do is delete any modifications that we did in the past um, and just start from scratch. Um, once you delete this, once you boot up the game, it's going to create another file. So don't worry about that. So we'll go ahead and delete this. Exit out. And then we want to open up the Fanatec control panel. Okay. Select tune in menu. And here we want to change the mode from standard mode to advanced. And you can pick one of these setups you want to use for AMS2. Um, for this example, I'm just going to start from scratch and select setup two here. And what we want to do here is change the maximum steering angle from auto or max all the way down to 90 degrees. Okay. So now your wheel can only rotate 90 degrees. This is very important in order to uh, sync the wheel base to the game. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and boot up AMS2. Okay, we got the game boot up. Um, we want to go ahead and select options, controls, and we're going to edit this user set one for this example. So we're going to go ahead and change the name. I'm going to change it to DD Pro. And this should work for your CSL DD as well and any other um, wheel bases that you may have but I only tested this out on the DD Pro. It took me literally five hours to figure this out. It was very frustrating, um, but I hope this helps you guys. And then we're gonna go ahead and change the type to wheel. Make Benetech. And then we're gonna change the model to, they don't have the DD Pro option, so we'll just go ahead and select Benetech CSL DD. And I'm using combined pedals. Um, if you have separate pedals, you can go ahead and change that right here at pedal type to separate. But for this example, um, we're gonna go ahead and select combined. All right, that's all you have to do on the screen. Um, and then you wanna go ahead and click on edit assignments. And then here, this is where we're gonna calibrate the wheel. Now, if you don't change the degree to the lowest max setting, this is the, the issue that everyone's having um, for the most part. So if you keep it on the max settings, by the time you go ahead and rotate your wheel, the game just doesn't recognize the uh, the wheel base. So at this 90 degrees, it's gonna be a sharp left to the middle and uh, it'll recognize. And the way to tell um, that it worked is you'll see a pop-up on the right hand on the right hand corner here. Once you turn left and middle, that pop-up is gonna go away. So we'll go ahead and select steer left here. Left, middle, there you go, right right middle and then we'll just go ahead and configure the throttle brake clutch and then gear up gear down all right and that's all that's to it so one thing i forgot to mention is to make sure that your wheel base is on pc mode in order to know if it's on pc mode uh, the power button light will be red so before we get started into a practice uh race here we want to change the degrees from 90 degrees to either 900, 1080, or whatever settings uh, you feel comfortable with when you're driving the vehicle. So in order to do that, we want to open up the control panel again. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then we'll change the angle here. It should be at, at 90 here. We're going to change that to 1080 or max, whatever, whatever you like here. So I'm just gonna leave that at 1080, so that's set now. So you'll be able to tell it's gonna steer a lot better than that 90 degree there. So we'll get back into the game and we'll start a practice just to make sure everything's working.
Okay, we're gonna go ahead and boot up the practice. Now the steering wheel should work. We'll just test it out here. There we go. Should be able to rotate the wheel left and right. Again, just make sure you change the degrees before booting up the game. Um, if you have it at 90 and you go ahead and try it out, the wheel is just going to go crazy. It's just going to shake back and forth. So go, make sure you change the uh, degrees before you boot up the game. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope this helps. Uh, let me know in the comment section if it doesn't. Um, enjoy your wheel. Thank you. See ya.